टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कैम एन फॉलोअर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कैम फॉलोअर एंड देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉलोअर सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज कैम एन फॉलोअर सो हियर यू कैन सी दीज बोथ आर द कैम्स एंड दीज आर द फॉलोअर्स ए कैम is a rotating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower specifically a cam is used to give desired motion to follower by direct contact so here you can see a cam is a rotating element which gives reciprocating motion to the follower so specifically a cam is used to give desired motion to the follower they are manufactured by die casting milling or by punch presses the cam and follower have a line contact and constitute a higher pair so here you can see a cam and follower having a line contact and so that it constitute higher pair they have three elements that means cam and follower have three elements first one is the driver member that is known as cam then driven member is known as follower and last frame is used to support the cam and guide the follower so basically there are three elements in the cam and follower driving member is known as cam driven member that follows the motion of the cam and that's why are called as follower and frame is used to support the cam and to guide the follower now application of cam and follower first internal combustion engine for operating valve so here you can see cam and follower and that is used to operate the valve in the internal combustion engine here you can see these are actually side wall engine and this one is the overhead wall engine so here you can see cam and follower and this one is the valve next shoe making machines weaving textile machineries punch press machine paper cutting machine so here you can see cam and follower now next cam profiles the cam can have various shapes these are known as cam profiles so here you can see this one is the cam having particular shape and that is known as cam profile this one is a follower now cam having various shapes here you can see the cam having pear or radial shape it can be the heart shape it can be the circular shape so there are so many types of the shapes for the cam profiles next more shapes of cam profiles here you can see the cam is rotating and so that the follower is reciprocating here focus on the shape of the cam so that shape of the cam actually depend on the types of the follower motion now the second question types of follower so first of all see the classification of the follower so first way to classify the follower is according to shape then second according to the motion of the follower and third according to the line of motion of the follower now let's see first according to the shape you can classify the follower as knife edge follower ruler follower flat face follower and spherical face follower now according to the motion of the follower you can classify the follower as oscillating follower and reciprocating follower similarly according to the line of motion of the follower you can classify as radial follower and offset follower so we are going to see in detail now each type of the follower one by one briefly 
So first, according to the shape of the follower, first one you can see knife edge. So here you can see it is knife edge follower. And from that you can understand exactly why it is called knife edge follower. So knife edge follower having line contact between the cam and follower. When the contacting end of the follower has sharp knife edge, it is called a knife edge follower. So here you can see sharp knife edge. It is rarely used in practice because the small area of contacting surface results in excessive wear. So here you can see it is a very small contact between the cam and follower and so that excessive wear is possible. Now next ruler follower. So here you can see the ruler is at the end of the follower and that's why it is called as the ruler follower. And here you can see this one is the ruler. When the contacting end of the follower is a roller, it is called a roller follower. Since the rolling motion takes place between the contacting surface, that means between the roller and the cam, therefore the rate of wear is greatly reduced. So if you compare with the knife edge follower, then here wear is reduced. Next, flat face follower. Here you can see the face is flat and that's why it is called as the flat face follower. This one is a cam that is mounted on the cam shaft and this one is the flat face follower. When the contacting end of the follower is perfectly flat face, it is called a flat face follower. So here you can see perfectly flat face. The flat face followers are generally used where space is limited such as in cams which operate the valves of the automobile engine. So this is the specific use of the flat face follower. Now next, spherical face follower. So here you can see the shape is like a mushroom type. So sometimes it is called as a mushroom follower also. Half sphere. And that's why it is called as spherical face. So here you can see. The face is like a sphere. When the contacting end of the follower is of spherical shape, it is called a spherical face follower. Here you can see. It may be noted that when a flat face follower is used in automobile engine, high surface stresses are produced. In order to minimize these stresses, the flat end of the follower is machined to a spherical shape. So previously we have seen in case of flat face follower, the face is now machined into a spherical shape, then it is known as spherical face follower. Next, cam with ruler follower, you can see the application of the cam and ruler follower. So here this is the ruler follower and this one is the cam. So here follower having oscillating motion, whereas cam has rotary motion. Next, cam with flat face follower. Here you can see this is the cam shaft and these are all cams. These are all the flat face follower. Next came with flat face follower using pump. So here you can see cam and follower that is used in pump also. So these are the different applications. Now second one according to the motion of follower. First one is the oscillating follower. Here you can see this one is a cam and this one is a follower. So you can imagine if I will rotate the cam then the follower will be oscillating with respect to this point. So it is like that. If the cam is rotating, then it will be oscillate. This is the next image. Here also you can see the cam is rotating and here the follower is oscillating with respect to this point. So that is called as the oscillating follower. When the uniform rotary motion of the cam is converted, into predetermined oscillatory motion of the follower, 
it is called as oscillating or rotating follower. Next, reciprocating follower. So here you can see the follower has reciprocating motion. And that's why it is called as reciprocating follower. Here also you can see this is a knife edge follower having reciprocating motion and so that it is called as reciprocating follower also. When the follower reciprocates in guides, here you can see this one is a guide. As the cam rotates uniformly, it is known as reciprocating or translating follower. Next, according to the line of motion of the follower and first one is the radial follower. So this is the radial follower and this is the animation of the radial follower. Here you can see the axis of the follower and axis of the cane both are coincide each other then it is called as the radial follower. When the motion of the follower is along an axis passing through the center of the cane. So here you can see the motion of the follower that means the line of action of the follower is passing through the center of the cane then it is known as radial follower. Now next, offset follower. Here you can see the line of action of the follower and axis of the cam having offset distance. So here you can see offset distance. When the motion of the follower is along an axis, away from the axis of the cam center. So here you can see it is away from the axis of the cam center and this distance is known as offset distance. It is called as offset follower. If you want to see more videos on cam profile generation with simple harmonic motion, cycloidal motion, uniform acceleration, uniform velocity, then you can subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.